Are you biting my toes? Are you biting my toes? <laughs> Hang on. Let me get the hot dog. My goodness. Y'all are such sweet little things. Oh my goodness. So where is everybody? Huh? Hello, Stormy. Come on. Hi. Hello. Oh, my little. Here we go, Stormy. Here we go. Come on. So, happy Saturday. It's just me again. Uh, he is laying down. Um, had a pretty good day. Um, he had some uh, pain last night in the middle of the night, and he had to take one of his pain pills, which it's been a couple weeks since he since he had had a pain pill. Hello. What you doing, Woody? Come on. You're up on the porch. Ah. And, uh, he's been napping off and on most of the day. I guess it was like around 2 p.m. He, uh, he says, you know... Three, four weeks ago, we thought that uh, my stomach swelling was because of Chinese food, and now we know it wasn't because of Chinese food. And I looked at him and I said, let me guess, you want Chinese food? And he said, yeah. So, we, uh, he did eat dinner tonight. We had Chinese food. And, um, that's Woody, by the way, everybody. Um. And we've been watching young Sheldon. And he says, I think I'm going to lay down for a little bit. Because I told him I was going to come out here and feed these guys. Um, I told him we had five. So, that's what we're doing. My babies. So, he apologizes. And he's going to try to make it back out here tomorrow. He's just been dizzy lately. We're checking his blood sugars. His blood sugars are perfect. Checked his blood pressure. Blood pressure is perfect. Checked his heart rate. Um, I did uh, the tilting of the head and everything. See if it was vertigo ear related. Okay. Doesn't seem to be that. So, it, and it just comes and goes, um, and it's not when he just stands up or sits up. Um, it can happen when he's laying down. So, we are seeing his physician next week, um, and we're also talking to his primary care doctor. We're seeing the urologist next week, and we're talking to the primary care doctor. So, we will bring it up. Um, in the meantime, uh, just keeping an eye on him. And just making sure that uh, no other new symptoms come along. So, he's eating good. He had a good breakfast. And uh, he's been snacking off and on most of the day. Uh, and then he, he ate the majority of his meal this evening. So, he's eating well. He's staying very hydrated. Um... I'm pushing hydration big time. So, just not sure what it is. We'll figure it out. Yes. My baby. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll find out what's wrong with daddy. These guys are getting bigger and bigger, aren't they? They're as big as their parents now. There you go. Well, hello. Oh, and last night, um, 
during bed lunch, Krabby showed up. Krabby and the kids, they showed up and um, I fed them. So yeah, we fed everybody, didn't we? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hello. What you doing, Woody? Hello. You playing with my boots? So I concentrated on one room today, although it wasn't one of the rooms in the basement. I concentrated on the dining room today. I cleaned out the bottom of the buffet. And then I cleaned off the table and the closets and uh, over by the bird feed and the dog. It's okay. And the dog feed. And I, I scrubbed the floor. And um, got it real clean, and I didn't even tell him I was doing it. And he he got up after watching a, um, a show this morning, yeah. and he walked in to get him something to drink. And he says, "Oh my gosh, looks different there." And I says, "I've been cleaning." And, and he says, well, it looks really, really good. And he says, I haven't seen it look that clean in four or five years. And I said, ah, oh, thank you. So, one room down. And his friend that was supposed to come today, she didn't come. She's coming tomorrow. So, we'll be expecting her tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, yeah. He's climbing on the steps, just not sure who it is. And somebody's down in the yard. Let me throw them some stuff down there. And somebody's trying to climb up here. Who are you? Is that you, Harriet? I've got two in the yard. Hey, Harriet. What are you doing? Are you sleeping? They walk around on this railing like a cat. I used to have a, a little cat. She looked a lot like Connor. Her name was Dot. And we named her Dot because she had a dot up under her chin and a dot on the bottom of her foot. And um, it's okay. It's all right. Probably sees the deer. Poor little dog. And he's run to the edge of his yard. Anyway. Dot used to walk on my stair railing. Um, we had some stairs, open staircase, that went all the way down into our basement. Up in Chattanooga, this is before I moved to Atlanta. And she would walk around that staircase because it was open. And she'd walk on the railing like that. And I called, the kids and myself, we called her uh, 
circus kitty. So, ah, it's got this one tuned up now. We got two dogs going. They can't help it, I know. It just scares my little ones. their little hearts. Right, baby? Here's you some more hot dogs. I was hoping that he would say he's going over to the woods now. Anyway, so we had a circus kitty. Yeah. She walked around like you guys. She died in 20, I think it was 2014, yeah, and she was, I think she was 16 or 17, um, she was sick back in 2007, uh, she was licking on her leg a lot, and then all of a sudden I saw a sore and I took her to the vet and we were living in Atlanta then and um, the vet doctored it and she says I want to do a biopsy on it Angie it doesn't look right and I said okay so she did a biopsy and it came back that she that was actually a tumor that was opening up on her leg and the doctor recommended that we amputate because it had covered a wide amount of area. And I asked my son if he was okay because she was his family cat. And um, he said, yeah, that's okay. So we amputated her leg. And the next morning she was at the vet. And she had already evidently been balancing overnight, and she had adapted, and she was running down the hall at the vet. And the vet called and said, you know, you can come and get her. And I said, okay. So she did have her little collar on, and we got her. And that cat with three legs could outrun me. Um, if I was trying to give her medicine, she could outrun me. But she did... Uh, her cancer evidently did spread, and uh, she was eat up with it the second time, and uh, we had to let her go. My daughter flew in from New York when she got so sick back in 2014. It was the uh, she was the last of the family pets of when my children were growing up uh, to go. Um, but I still had two more cats at the time. And then, and then Sylvie came into my life, and uh, her little friend, so I had four, bless them all. Now I got Sylvie, and I've got Connor and Charlotte, so Connor and Charlotte are, they're just so sweet, so, so sweet, and I actually got to give Charlotte a kiss on the head this morning, that's that was the first. Um, she's never let me do that. She won't let Jim do it. Um, I do it to Connor all the time. He had to get used to it, though. But uh, he lets me do it now all the time. But, yeah, I finally got a kiss on the head to Charlotte this morning. Of course, Sylvie's, she's Sylvie. She's so calm now compared to what she was a couple of days ago when I was looking for that memory card. What you guys doing?
Let's do an area. And I've got two out in the yard. Bobby was here earlier. And it was eaten up here with the others. So. Yeah. So well, it's been a pretty quiet day today. Uh, it actually got up to 58 here today. Um, I think that's like 12, 13 Celsius. Um, that's pretty good. Um, I actually, I was getting ready to put my shorts up and my short sleeve shirts. And um, I actually put shorts and short sleeve shirt on today. And Jim looked at me and says, aren't you freezing? And I said, oh gosh, no. This is perfect weather. <laughs> he, he just looks at me and just shakes his head. And I say that because I'm hot in Asia. I have my personal summers. And um, those, that sh those shorts felt wonderful. That's for sure. Hey, baby. Another one? Come on. He's beautiful, isn't he? His sister is too. Miss Tina. Don't know where she is. Hello. What you doing? Come on. Come on. I know who you are. Come on. Come on. Y'all see the tail, I hope. The tail that doesn't reach the ground. Right here. Y'all know who this is? Scooter. Come here, baby. There. Scooter's on alert. Hey, Woody. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, one of your kids, huh? There. <laughs> there we go. Come on. There we go. So we don't fight. There's plenty of food. Oh, there goes that dog again. My goodness. Hey, my goodness. Little dog. You want to try it? There you go. Aren't they sweet? You want to get enough to eat? Richard there. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh, we got company over here. Hello there. Hi. That's a big raccoon. Not sure who that is. something out there in the woods. Y'all hear it? Oh, there's Chewy right there. Y'all see Chewy? He's a big boy. Hey, Harriet. Oh, no, you're not Harriet. You're Cookie. Wow. So everybody's getting along. Nobody's fussing, so these guys must be denning up together. It's a possibility. I've never seen the dens. Um, everybody seems to be in a happy mood. Hello, girl. For you all that are new to the channel, Chewy, he came to us back in February. He was a lot smaller. And then he came to us in the middle of winter. And his little ears were almost chewed off. They were just pitiful. And, um, he looked like he'd been in a really bad fight. And look at him now. He looks so much better and healthy. Oh. He looks so healthy. Hey, baby. somebody down there on the ground. Here you go. Here you go. Hey Bandit. What you doing? Oh, everybody's coming. Hey Chewy. Hey, Bandit. There you go. You took two. Here. Here, Chewy. Now that was scooter that just got that off the table. 
tiny little thing. Hey, big boy. Be nice. It's okay. I hear somebody coming out of a tree out there in the woods. Hey, big boy. Did you hear that? Somebody walking. I'm going to get your desserts. Yeah. Hang on, buddy. It's okay. Here I am. You want some cookies? Cookies. Come on. Let's get the cookies. Ah, it looks like everybody's gone. Maybe if they hear the... The knocking of the cookies on the deck. Yep. Hello. Let me get the ones on the ground. Here we go, guys. Peaches. Hey, peaches. Hey, baby.
They're getting fewer and fewer, aren't they? You hear the crowds coming back. Hello. You see how their fur is starting to get over their feet? It's getting longer and longer and more bushy. looking for. You want some marshmallows? Somebody uh, left a comment last night and they said, you must be in heaven here with all these raccoons. I am. Um, the raccoons that I used to feed uh, in Georgia, I fed them and the possums and the geese and the fox and the ducks. Um, but I never got to hand feed them. Well, I hand fed the geese and the ducks. Um, I actually fed them cat food. Um, little kibble like this. They would eat it out of my hand. Uh, they would come off the lake and, and I would feed them. And the turtles when I was down on my boat dock. But um, never the raccoons and the possums. No. So, yeah, this is, this is heaven. For sure. Now, when we start getting um, heavier snowfalls, where the snow stays on the ground for days, that's when we'll start getting the deer. Uh, and more than likely, these guys will uh, be going to bed then. At least Jim says they do when the, the snow, snow sticks. Um, Anyway, we'll be getting deer. We don't hand feed the deer. For those of you that um, wonder what we do after the raccoons go into the torpor. Um, we have deer that come and they come right out here where the trails are and up close to the house. And we feed them apples. Um, we either... Not baby. What are you doing? We feed them, uh, we throw the apples out in the yard from either here on the deck or from the bedroom window. And they eat their apples all winter because they, there's no grass on the ground because the snow's covering it and it's so deep. They, they just don't have a way to eat much. So we give them apples when there's snow on the ground, don't they? Yep. So we go through a bag of apples like every two days. And I'm not talking a small bag. Um, I think it's a, it's a 10 pound bag of apples, if I'm not mistaken. 10 or 15 pound bag of apples. It's a very large bag. It's like a, um, 
this is close to a, a kitchen garbage bag full. Um, that's about the size of it, of apples. And then we just cut them up, and they eat them. Oh, and they dig in the snow, because we throw them out in the snow, and you know it sinks. And then they dig for them. But they stay healthy, and they know to come here. Uh, he's had the same deer and uh, coming for many, many years. If you go back and you look at some of his videos from, let's say, December through March, um, you'll see where he's feeding the deer. And they are wild. Um, I mean, just the slightest creak in the house and they will run. So we have to throw the deer out before they get here. I mean, the, excuse me, sorry about that. We have to throw the apples out before the deer get here. So we throw them out in the morning. Hi, baby. Um, and, and then we have to hope that we can catch them on film either around between 11 and 12 or around 4 to 4.30 before it gets dark. Um, and it's usually two mama deers. Uh, we usually don't see any bucks. And then they have their children with them. So, I'm anxious to see what we get this year. And we don't film every day either. Because uh, we can't catch them every day. Um, I think we may try setting an alarm for them this year. And seeing if we can uh, get it to go off. We're going to try something new to see if we can uh, set a motion detector to, so that we know when they're out here. So. What are you saying? I'm going to go get y'all some marshmallows. How's that sound? They sound okay. Yeah, they sound So y'all are eating late tonight. Hey Woody. I'm going to get the camera and see if I can get some close-ups. Let's see here. What y'all doing? Huh? What you doing there, baby? Are you doing the cookies? Huh? In camera shot? It's raining, isn't it? Yeah. Say hello. That's what that noise is. Say yeah. That's what the noise is. Say hello.
Now say hi. Say hi there. Yep, mommy's getting wet. It's starting to rain, isn't it? Ah. Let's see how many we got on the yard. I only see one down there. Well, I see two. Yeah. I see two out there. What you doing? You see somebody? Who is that? They took a cookie, whoever they are. Somebody just snuck up here and left. It's this little person right here, whoever this is. Hello. I know who you are. You're a little bit. You're not so little anymore, are you? Nope. Well, folks. <sighs> Hi there. What are you doing? I'm going to hang it up for the night. And everyone have a wonderful rest of your Saturday night. Hello. And we shall see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for all your support. And hopefully Mr. Jim will be back out here tomorrow night. Hopefully. We'll talk at you later. Good night.